Hi there, I'm Woody. Welcome to Piano Shack. In this video, we are going to play some of my favourite presets from this gorgeous Roland D50. Woody Piano Shack. Magnificent Fantasia. This is the sound, the preset that is in the first uh, patch when you power on the synthesizer. A11 uh, Fantasia. Let's press on to the next sound I want to show you. Uh, actually, let me tell you, there are lots and lots of sounds on this synthesizer. Well, 64. That's not much by today's standards. Uh, however, most of them are absolutely fabulous. And I went through these earlier today and couldn't really find any that I wanted to leave out. So this might be a long video and I might split it up into two separate uploads. We'll have to see. So we have eight different patch banks here. And then for each patch bank, there are eight different patches here. So let's jump over to the metal harp. You can hear lots and lots of reverb. There's no external reverb or any effects of any kind added in this video. You're just hearing the effects from the D50 here. I believe this was the first synthesizer to use and uh, to have an inbuilt effects processor. It's got beautiful, beautiful lush stereo reverbs, chorus effects and delays. It was the first of its kind. The D50, in case you don't realize, came out in 1987, so this is almost 30 years old. Let's press on. I'm going to play some Arco strings for you, and we'll demonstrate some of these partial features of the instrument. Let's just play some stringy stuff. What a beautiful sounding synth this is. Uh, I can mix between the different, um, the, the sounds are made up of often a synthesized waveform. This is one of the very first virtual analog synthesizers a long time before the Nord Lead, uh, you might be surprised to hear. This has a virtual synth emulation in it, a virtual analog synth emulation, plus these partials as Roland called them, a little, little tiny sample that they put just at the start of the sound to give you a sort of realistic transient. This was also groundbreaking at the time. Let me show you. So the string sound here, I can use the joystick here. There's your partial, just at the start of the sound. Just a tiny, tiny little sample because these uh, synthesizers of this time and samplers didn't have very much memory available to them. But when combined with the... The sort of analog modeling, you got quite nice effects. Okay, let's press on. Let's take the next sample I wanted to show you, which is some horn sounds. Never quite sure what to play when I have a uh, brass sound. So let's do this, I guess. Okay, we have a lips sample here. Lips. And again, a sort of modeled analog synth sound mixed together. You get that. touch as well but you really have to lean on the keys to get your aftertouch 
So that one was called Horn Section. This is Living Calliope. I'm going to demonstrate another nice feature of this synthesizer for you. You can hear again the fabulous, very warm reverb. This is the thing that blew me away when I tried one of these in the shops back in the 80s. A button here, Chase. Let's have a listen. That's pretty amazing. It's not uh, just a delay. It's some quite complicated MIDI re-triggering thing. It eats up a lot of polyphony, so it's not a uh, simple delay. That's a chase function. I'm just going to show you one of the organ signs. This thing has a few organ signs and they're pretty big and beefy and ballsy. Have a listen to this. Uh, what should we play? Um, hmm, oh, always tricky to know what to play. Um, switch off the chase. I don't know what it sounds like for you guys listening on the video, but in my headphones here, that thing sounds epic. It's massive. Okay, we're already on to bank two, and I wanted to play for you this sound. This is also one of these signature sounds of the D50. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Can anybody guess what this patch is called? <laughs> Imagine how mind-blowing it was to hear this in the music shop back in 1987. So this is digital native dance. Let's listen to see how this is built up. Amazing sound, amazing sound. We've got some plinky things going on. And then this rhythm fades in. I mean, this is just incredible. A guy called Eric Pershing designed all of the presets for the D50. He is the guy that now does uh, Omnisphere. Uh, what are the other instruments? I don't know. Spectrasonics is a company. Still going strong, the guy that made these presets. He did a fantastic job. You might think this is quite an um, unusable patch, but this is on many records. You can hear like introduction of Michael Jackson songs and whatnot. They have this sort of... Those whee, whooshy sounds going on in the background. There you go, guys. That was Digital Native Dance. What a classic, classic preset. marimba let's listen to the chase very pretty indeed don't you think moving on we have some strings here combi strings okay I've got a Roland FA08, which is the very most recent Roland workstation. 
I think this thing sounds bigger, it sounds fatter, and it sounds better even today. The D50 is, what a classic, I love it. Let's take a listen to the joystick in action. It's nice that you can just mix between the sounds. Get some very interesting effects. Okay, this turned into a queen. Woo. I just love it, I love this sound. Okay guys, sorry if I'm getting a bit carried away. Just sounds so awesome through my headphones here. All right, so let's try another one. This is just for your pleasure, some kind of distorted guitar thing. Oh, the chase function is on, okay. So when we were playing the string sounds, I had this um, chase function on, but it sounded good. Without it, yeah, okay, more conventional. With the chase. Oh, beautiful. I do like that. Okay, the last patch I wanted to show you from this bank is called um, 27. This is another one of these quite epic Roland D50 sounds. What shall I play for you here? I'll just do an improvisation. I always use the white notes. Let's see if I can do something that's not in the white notes. This could go disastrously wrong. Chase, let's take that off. exactly sure what the joystick does. It's, it's doing a mix, but also changing. It's also cha it's changing the balance between the different layers, but doing a bit more as well. So you can get wild, wildly different sort of sounds just by tweaking the, the joystick here. Okay, are you enjoying this? Let's move on to bank three. Oh, okay, we're not quite there yet. Um, I saw one of my favorite patches ever pop up on the display, but that was on patch 37. We need to go back to 31. Uh, do we need to go to 31? No, we'll skip that, 32. This is a very beautiful sound. This one is called Gamelan Bell. With Chase. Ah, maybe I'm running out of polyphony actually. There's nothing else that sounds quite like a D50. Nothing else. Still kind of unique today. Marvellous, marvellous. I'm now going to play you some slappy bass. Some slappy bass. 
Is this a... Okay, we have a split here. Okay, there you go. Oh, pretty badly played and bad timing, whatever. Can I just mention before I forget, the keyboard on this thing is absolutely fabulous. This is without doubt the highest quality, nicest feeling keyboard that I've ever played. It's just so um, responsive, the, the weighting is just perfect, it, the bottoming out is lovely and soft, oh, it's fantastic. We have some strings. Touch, I think. There we are. After touch was also a pretty big thing in 1987. There weren't many keyboards that had it. This one doesn't really use it to great effect, but it's there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? This is my favorite preset of all time on any synthesizer ever. Have a listen to this. Can anybody guess what it is? I'm not going to tell you what this patch is called, actually. I want you to put in the comments the name of this preset on the Roland D50. My favourite preset ever. Take a listen. Man, that preset chokes me up. I've got tears in my eyes, honestly, I have. That is unbelievable. Let me know in the comments what that one's called. Should we take a quick listen how they've built that sound up? Again, this is one of the Eric Pershing presets. It's heavenly. Oh man, just a second. Let me pull myself together and we'll press on. Just a couple more to go actually. Um, I've, I've left out and lots of amazing presets just because I don't want this video to go on forever. Oh no, actually, I've got another page of this to go. I guess at this point it would be a good time to take a short break. Um, and I'll see you again in part two. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you later. Ta-da.